Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So uh, I want to go over a topic that uh, some of my subscribers have asked about, and uh, it's talking about the different types of water heaters that are available. Uh, so there are two main types. And the first one is your traditional tank type water heater that can either be gas or electric. And then you have your instant water heaters or on-demand water heaters that are tankless uh, that basically produce the hot water as uh, it is needed. And so there's a few different things to consider. We're just talking about the tank versus um, instant water heaters today, uh, but I will go over electric versus gas another time. Uh, but I'll just kind of go through these here factors uh, that, that in my opinion are pretty significant. All right, so this is my uh, thoughts here that I've gotten written down on this uh, beautiful grocery bag. And uh, I have been working in the plumbing industry for over 10 years now, so I do come across this stuff uh, pretty often. So I am pretty familiar with the pros and cons here. Uh, but these, this is my opinion, so you can um, make your own decision, but this is uh, just some ideas for you. So we'll just go through uh, the top five benefits uh, of each of these two types, uh, in my opinion. So here on the tank type water heater, where you're going to have a 50 gallon capacity typically, or around there, um, one, you have a lower unit cost. On average, your cost of your water heater is going to be uh, significantly less. Like uh, a lot of the times it'll be 50% of what it would be if you had an on-demand. Uh, number two, less maintenance. Overall, uh, tank type water heaters require very little to no maintenance, especially if you have an electric one. And even the gas ones are pretty low maintenance, uh, assuming you have a naturally drafted unit and not a power vent. Uh, Number three, there is no gallon per minute limit. So when you have a whole bunch of uh, water usage all at once, so you have someone using the hot water in a shower and a dishwasher running and uh, any other things that are taking hot water, uh, it's not going to affect the tank type water heater unless you have a, a significant time period of, of usage where it's not able to keep up. But in the short term, you could have short bursts of hot water usage, and it's not going to be restricted in the gallon per minute um, area. <clears throat> now, number four here, we've got our emergency reserve. Now, this is something that um, I think is beneficial, but some people might just think it's uh, not that important to them. So what I like about having a tank type water heater is that you have 50 gallons. In my case, I have a, a thermal energy storage water heater, so it's actually 105 gallons of water that is sitting in that water heater. So if there was to be an outage from your utility uh, provider for uh, water or if your well goes down, you actually have 50 to 100 gallons or whatever your size your water heater is of water that you can use for whatever you want. So it's just kind of nice to have 50 gallons of water uh, sitting around available in emergencies. Uh, and number five here, it's good for cold climates. And I have to kind of explain that. Uh, most of the time, um, we are, we're in Minnesota, and so in colder climates, uh, the water heater is typically in the house somewhere, whether it's a mechanical room on the main level or if it's in the basement. So if it's in the basement uh, or in a mechanical room and it's inside the thermal envelope, so the footprint of the house and not like in an unheated garage or crawl space, then all of the heat loss that they talk about with tank type water heaters um, it's not really heat loss in the sense that it's going to heat the house the majority of the year. So any uh, heat that leaks out of that tank, that radiates out of that tank, is just going into the thermal envelope. So it doesn't really, uh, it's not as much of a factor in that instance. Now obviously for the hot months of the year, it's uh, going to be a negative to have that energy uh, in the house, but that's kind of the concept. And uh, we will, and then we'll go over the negative factors quick here. It takes up a lot more space. Obviously, a tank type water heater is bigger than a tankless water heater, which is uh, much smaller. Um, less efficient. We kind of just discussed that because it radiates heat, because that's keeping that tank of water hot all the time. Um, slower recovery time uh, with electric, especially. 
Uh, so if your if your water heater was totally uh, cold and you need to turn it on, it's going to be pretty slow at recovering. Now gas is quite a bit faster, and uh, standby loss again. We were just talking about that where it radiates out heat, um, and also this less efficient thing. What I meant to touch on there is that typically the way that the tank type water heaters combust, it's only around eighty percent efficient. Eighty percent of the heat is going into the water. All right. On to tankless. So, number one, higher efficiency. So, like we just talked about, um, with a condensing type tankless gas water heater, which typically they have to be gas because there's not enough uh, amperage to be able to heat water fast enough. There are electric instant water heaters, but they're not very common and they don't have super great gallon per minute capabilities. Uh, so higher efficiency in that like probably 90, 90 plus percent of the heat coming from your gas uh, that is being burned goes into the water. So that's a positive. Compact and space saving. That is explains itself. And continuous flow at whatever the rated gallon per minute is. So uh, you can get a bigger or smaller instant water heater and the the bigger or the more BTUs that it is, uh, the higher the gallon per minute rating. So you could have, say, five gallons per minute continuous flow on some units. And in that case, you're never going to run out of hot water as long as you don't use more than the rated capacity. So that can be a benefit in certain instances. <clears throat> no standby loss because when you're not using it, it doesn't run. It's just totally off. So that is definitely a positive. Uh, good for hot climates, same thing, reverse of what this is. Um, you don't have any standby loss like we just talked about, so you don't have extra heat entering the thermal envelope of the house. Um, and that is a positive. So, uh, you know, overall it's just better to not have that hot tank of water all the time radiating heat out. Negative factors, uh, high maintenance. This Now this is the big deal to me. I am a service technician and uh, all of our customers or a lot of the ones that have chosen to go with a tankless type water heater um, end up having to do a lot more maintenance. Um, it can be a combination of due to hard water, um, which is significant, but also they just have a lot of moving parts in comparison to a tank type water heater. And so whatever savings on average our customers would have saved with the higher efficiency unit uh, go out the window with maintenance cost. And so that is probably the biggest reason why I lean towards a traditional tank type water heater. High cost of unit and installation, that's kind of um, self-explanatory. And because you have to have vents going out, um, a lot of times it's two uh, PVC vents. Sometimes that can be more labor intensive, especially versus like an electric uh, water heater. Um, no emergency storage, that's self-explanatory, but there is no water sitting in there. So if you have a, an outage where you don't have any water, you're not going to be able to get any out of your water heater. And like we talked about, it has a limited gallon per minute flow, but that that might be fine depending on your application. Just pay attention to it. So in conclusion, you probably get, we're able to gather that I lean towards the tank type water heater. Uh, just less expensive, less maintenance, and uh, there are a number of benefits that make me lean towards that. But you can kind of see the factors there and make an informed decision. If you're someone who is going to be uh, really detailed in maintaining an instant water heater, you're probably going to be fine. But if you don't want to touch it, you want to just work all the time, you probably should get a tank type water heater. So I hope this video has helped you out. And if you are uh, made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for listening. And uh, if you have any thoughts or ideas uh, for what your opinion is about instant water heaters versus tank type, please put them down below. I will definitely um, thumb those up if they seem applicable. And so that would be great. Uh, thanks again for watching. And we will talk to you in the next video. See ya.